Hello. Hi, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Oh, dear. Thank you for letting me off the class last night. My husband arrived at 10, at 10 p.m. So good thing I can't cancel the class. And I can't teach with my baby. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we don't have class last night, how did you spend your time? Um, my mother say, stay in the living room and watch a film. Oh, with the family. Wow. What did you watch? I watch Boss Baby. <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> uh -huh. And did you finish it? Did you finish watching it? Hello? Did you? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. And did your you... camera is lucky. Oh. Hmm. Do you think it's the internet? Let me see. Speed test. Let me do the speed test. Tell me if you can't understand me so I can say it again. Okay. Okay, my internet is doing fine. It's 18 Mbps. Let me see the download. Internet is fine too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's try. Let's try to have a class, I hope. It's because the weather is bad here. What happened? I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't believe. Oh, maybe it's your internet. That's why I look laggy to you. Okay. So today we will have a reading and writing lesson. Oh, no. Now you're laggy too. Hello? You're not moving. Hello, hello, hello. There you go. It's fine now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, so we will have a reading and writing lesson today. Tell me if ever you can't understand me or it's laggy so I can say it again. Okay. Okay, let's begin. So in this lesson, we will see some notices, part one. Next is um, multiple choice. You pick the correct word. And then there's a conversation. You need to pick what you're going to say next. And uh, if we happen to get to the reading comprehension part, we will read a story, a passage, and then we will um, identify if the statements are true, oh, right, wrong, or doesn't say, and more. Let's start with the notices. 
slideshow. Okay. We have one example. Here you go. Number oh, example. You must use this door between these hours. The answer is H. Look at H. Would you please read the notice in H? Computers. All staff must use night entrance at p.m. to 6 a.m. Okay, so look, which door must we use in this notice? Which door? Entrance. Yes, the night entrance. And it says between these hours, what time must we use the night entrance? When we wait time. Uh, when the in when the town was burned. Mm -hmm. Louder, louder, please. Uh, like when a house was is burned. Oh, you mean like exit? You mean exit, fire exit? Uh huh. I think that's a fire exit. Uh -huh. Listen to the question again. What time? Because look at the example. You must use this door between these hours. So tell me the time frame that falls in these hour, hours. What time? Um. We must use this door at what time? At 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yes, that is what we are, what these is referring to. Okay, so let's go to number one. Please read. Young people and their parents may choose different meals. Mm -hmm. Which notice says this. Let's underline, underline the important or the keywords. Young people, different meals. Think of another word that could refer or talk about young people. Mm -hmm. E. Uh-huh. So which word? Children. Yes, children. And choose different meals or special children's menu. Okay, so that's E. <laughs> Number two. You can eat here in the evenings. Mm -hmm. Evenings. Which meal do we have on the evenings? Which one? Please read. Mm. Riverside Restaurant, BS. 
us to find your duty. Mm -hmm. Why do you think number two is G? Which words are related to each other? Mm -hmm. Evenings, you can eat in the evenings here. So maybe eat could be restaurant. Is that what you mean? Could be. But we have another word. Evenings. D. D. Uh -huh. Which word is related to evenings? Evening. Yes. And how about... Uh huh. Okay, eat is in the restaurant. Evenings is dinner, and at what time? Um, at ten. PM. Yes, ten p.m. There you go. Number two is D. So when you look at the notices. Find the key words. I will give you an ex I gave you an example, right? Young people, meals, eat, evenings. Okay. Now you just do the same in number three. Please read. Um, the wait this will show you where. It show you where you to sit. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are the keywords? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Tell me first the keywords in number three. What are the most important words? Show you where to sit. Okay. Show you where to sit. And who will show you where to sit? Mm. It's the waitress. Okay. So you said F. Mm -hmm. So did it say if it's four children only? No. no, but in F, the notice is for which group of people or for who? For whom? It's only for, it's about young children. High chair. So you can't, if you are not a child, you can't. It's not about you. It's about high chairs for young children. So maybe you should pick another one. Mm -hmm. So it says, show you where to sit. Does that mean you already have a seat or not? Uh huh. Do you already no. have no? So you still need to find a place to sit. So which, uh huh, which notice tells us that we need help to find somewhere to sit? G. Yes. So. What can we do? What can we do with the waitress? What can we do with the waitress? Yes. Ask. Yes, let's ask the waitress. So we will know where to sit or where the table is. Okay. Number four. Please read number four. You can stay, stay the night here. Hmm? 
P. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I erased. Sorry. Number four is B. Yes. Why do you think it's uh, you can stay the night here? It says breakfast. <laughs> bed. <laughs> and we need the bed at night. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Number five. You should not usually use the door to go outside. Mm -hmm. For a for a exit, only no entrance to garden. Okay, you're right. There you go. <laughs> How many choices do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. So we have choices, but the questions were only five. So the remaining three were only there to make you or get you confused. <laughs> so be careful always. Next, part two, read the sentences about working in the library. So this is more like a story. It's continuous, okay? It's all about Elena. Okay, we have one example. Elena got a Saturday job working in a library a few months ago. So she's got a job. Now, let's go to number one. Your turn. A Saturday, a lot of people visit the library when Elena works and it is always busy. Uh -huh. How did you know it's busy? Because a lot of people. Yes. Do. Okay. Number seven. The job is interesting because I meet a lot of different people. Says. Yes, it's interesting. Listen, in interesting and different, there are silent letters. In, mm -hmm. remove this and put them together. Interesting. 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 Yes, put them together. So, that is called a silent letter because we don't read them. Okay, interesting. Next, different. Do not read the E, it's a silent E. Different. Different. Yes, okay. <laughs> so there are words that have silent letters. Letters, okay, number eight, please. Her job is to... What's her job? Look. Mm -hmm. Check. Mm -hmm. What is your... Yes, it's about books. So what is your final answer? What does she check. have to do? Yes, she has to check the books that people that were brought back brought back by people check not just look look this is uh-huh look just look and then put it away but check is maybe look if it's broken was it torn are they complete are they correct that is check okay so it's check <laughs> number nine Elena has to put all the books back on the right shelf. Yes, shelf. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put them back to the right shelf. Number 10. Sometimes people forget 
to return their books on time. Very good. So you can already identify the missing word. So I think this is related to the task where there are no choices. You know, if you need an adjective, a word that describes, or yes, like interesting. Interesting is an adjective. Okay, next. Complete the five conversations. So this is the usual example. Where are you from? I'm from New York. <laughs> okay, let's go to number 11. I will read the questions or maybe the first part. You tell me your reply. Okay, 11 to 15. Have a good holiday. Thanks, I will. Okay. <laughs> what about going shopping this afternoon? I'm too tired. Oh, so you can't. It means you can't. Okay. I can't do my homework. I can't do my homework. Mm -hmm. Look at B. Am I asking you to give me something? No. No. So it's not, you can't have that because I'm not asking about anything. And uh, am I doing something dangerous? No. Should I be careful? Not either. Mm -hmm. How about C? What do you think it's C? A first you came. Mm -hmm. It's like telling you that I can do it. Of course you can. I can't do my homework. Of course you can. It's just like boosting my confidence so I can do something. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me show you the answers. Mm -hmm. Number 14, which of the boys is your friend? That which? one over here. Yes, over there. <laughs> which of the boys? That one. Okay, that's fast. I've waited here for two hours. I'm sorry about that. Okay, apology accepted. <laughs> okay, there you go. So I think you don't have a problem when doing this task, even on the notices. Okay, you improved a lot from since. Do you remember when we started our class together? Was it February? Do you still remember? Was it February or January? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. We've been together for so long. <laughs> I'll check later if, how, for how long we've been together. Okay. Complete the conversation. Sorry for the wrong spelling. This should be conversation about a game of tennis. What does... Juan say to Rob. Okay. Ooh, this one's tricky. So remember, look not only to the first sentence. Look at the next one too. It's called context. Like this. We are looking for this, right? Then look at the first and the last reply. So you, find, you can find it out. Okay, we have one example. Are you free on Saturday afternoon? Yes, I'm not doing anything. Doing anything. Would you like to play tennis? All right, where shall I meet you? Mm -hmm. Look at my answer. It's a yes. 
Are you a good player? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Don't hurry, dear. Analyze it first. Don't hurry. We have a lot of time. <laughs> okay. Look at my answer. Yes, at the sports center. So, what could be your question? Because it's a yes, it must okay. be. Okay. Have you put somewhere to play? Yes. Look. What's the clue there? Somewhere at the sports center. Have you? Yes. So those are the clues. Next. Mm -hmm. Let me erase those that we've we're done with. Okay. Who's turn? Yes, at the sports center, three o'clock. My answer is that's okay. You'll be fine. That's okay. So maybe something not really good. You said something not really good. You know, I haven't played for a long time. That's okay. You'll be fine. <laughs> How long are we going to play for? About an hour should be enough. We can stop if we get tired. All right, all right. Where shall I you? Your house is nearer to the sports center. So I'll see you there at 2.30. We can go in my car. Great. Then we won't have to walk back. Thanks very much. No problem. It'll be fun. Very good. <laughs> So I think you got confused at the first one because you were hurrying. Don't hurry. Analyze each answers. Okay, you have enough clues so you can find the answers. Okay, <laughs> let me erase those drawings. Do you have any question like a word that you need help with? Which one? Or nothing? nothing? Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, we are now in part four. So we will read the article about two Canadian boys. And after that, we will read some statements. We will say if they are right, wrong, or doesn't say. Remember, dear, when a statement, you think an, a statement is wrong, you must be able to find the correct answer. Okay? But if you can't find the correct answer, or there are no supporting details to the statement, most likely it doesn't say. Okay. I will give an example, example later. Okay. Okay. Great idea. So I will read the first paragraph. You read the second and the last one. Okay. Yes. Okay, my turn. A great idea. Fraser and Peter are two 14 year old boys who grew up in the same small Canadian town. They have always been friends and classmates. Like all their other friends, they enjoy going fishing or swimming at weekends. But for the last few months, they've spent every weekend in Peter's room working on his laptop. 
This isn't because they have a lot of homework. They have made a new computer word game. Your turn. The idea for the game came from Princess Little Border Kevin, who had four problems with his reading. Kevin learns words more easily by seeing pictures and hearing information than he does by reading. His brother wants to help Fraser and Peter worked together for over 200 hours Ooh. to make a computer game and now it's ready to use. It's picking and picture game. For example, if you look at the word hat, there's drawing of a hat snack to eat and you can hear Peter saying hat, hat at the same time. And two boys have won a lot of prize for their computer game and it will soon be on sale around the world. Many schools are interested in buying it. Interested, interested, okay. Interested. Uh, Peter, the other boy's name is Peter. Okay. Peter. Yes, how about the other one? What's his name? Fraser. Yes, are they brothers? Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Are they brothers? Friends. Friends. <laughs> okay. And what are Fraser and Peter's similarities? In what ways are they similar or the same? Like their age. Mm -hmm. The same age mm -hmm. and classmates. Okay. So they are both 14 year old and they are classmates. So if they are classmates, they attend the same school. Am I right? Yes. Yes, because they are classmates. And just like any other friends, what do they like doing on together? Yeah. What do they like doing together? Um. What are their hobbies, maybe? We um, go fishing and swimming. Yes, okay. But I've read that they were doing something for the last few months. What were they doing? Um... Made a new computer word game. Yes. Where? Where are they making that game? Mm. Maybe whose house? Mm. Peter's. Peter. Peter. Yes, it's Peter's house, Peter's room. Okay. And why do they want to make a new computer game? Why um, do they want to make a new computer word game? Because 
This isn't. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of homework. Oh, yes. So you said that for the last few months, they are working on making a new computer game, right? So why do they want to make a new computer game? Why? Because we are already in the second paragraph. For whom is this computer game? The idea for the game from Francis little brother Kevin who has problem with his reading oh, Kevin okay. learns word more easily by seeing picture and hear information than he does, does by reading okay so tell me does Kevin like reading yeah. does he no What's your final answer? Yes or no? <laughs> no. No. So he's not really into reading. So this game will help him because on uh, what way does Kevin learn easily or faster? Easily. Yes. How? He doesn't like reading, right? How does yes. he love to learn? How does he like to learn? By seeing picture and hearing information. Okay. And he does by reading. Yes. So he's not really into reading, but he likes seeing pictures and listening. Okay. So that made... Fraser and Peter make a new computer word game. And tell me about this game. How does it work? Um, like if I want to play, how does it, how can I play it? How does it work? What kind of game um, is it? It like speaking and picture game. For example, if you look at the word hat, there's a jarring of a hat and next to it, and you can hear Pat Peter saying hat hat at the same time. Okay, so it's a speaking and picture game. It's like four picks one word, maybe like that. Do you know that game? Four picks one word. There are four different pictures and you will make a guess what is the word just by looking at the pictures. So maybe it's more like this computer word game. <laughs> and how much time? Or how long did it take till they finish the game? Mm. How long? 200 hours. Exactly 200? Is it exactly? Mm. Oh. Over, over 200 over 200 hours. hours okay so it's not exactly 200 more than it's like more than okay and did the game get any awards or prizes Did the game get any awards or prizes? Yes, won a lot of prizes. And is it already on sale? Is it already on sale or...
can we already buy it? Yes, sell is sell. Mm -hmm. Can we already buy it? Is it out in the yeah. market? No, it's buy on the um on when? the app store. Yes, is it already at stores? On the Google Play. Is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does it say that? I think. You think so? Which paragraph tells us about that? Um, First, second, or third paragraph? Huh? Third, yes. Would you please read that part where it says about sale? The two boys have won a lot of prize for the computer game and it will soon be on sale around the world. So tell me, is it already on sale? Yeah. Uh -huh. Again, it will soon be on sale. So is that in the present or in the future? Or in the past? In the, in the, in the future. future. So can we already buy it? Not yet. Soon in the future. So we can't we can't buy it yet. But many schools are interested interested in buying it already. So we can't we, it's still uh -huh, we can't still we can't buy it yet. Okay. So do you have any questions with the story? No, no. I don't. No. So I think it's broken. It doesn't go to the statements. So let me oh man, you might see the answer. <laughs> Did you see them? <laughs> okay. Let me crop it a bit. Why did it do that? Please wait. So it's broken. Okay. We have one example. Peter and Fraser are both teenagers. The answer is right. That in a, is an example. How do we know they're both teenagers, by the way? Mm. How old are they? Do you remember? Teen, teenagers. Yes. How old are they? Four. 14. 14. Oh. 14 teenagers. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Those are teenagers. Okay. Please read number 21. Peter and Fraser go to the same school in Canada. Mm -hmm. Right? Is it right? How, how did you know? Fraser and Peter are two uh, 14 mm -hmm. years old boys who grew, grew up in the same small Can Canadian town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for, or the question is, do they go to the same school? Your answer is correct. It's right. How do we know they go to the same school? What? Yes, that's the magic word. They are classmates. <laughs> okay, number 21, please. Peter and Fraser like doing different sports to their friends. Mm -hmm. Doesn't say. As it doesn't say. Mm. 
I will underline a word, okay? Like doing different sports to their friends. So can you identify the paragraph that most likely tell us the answer in number 22? Which paragraph? Like all their other friends, friends they enjoy going fishing or swimming at weekends. That's correct. But That's it. So based on that sentence that you have read, do they like doing different sports to their friends? Mm, no. So what is your answer? Right? Wrong? Doesn't say. Which one? Wrong. Wrong. So if it's wrong, there must be a correct answer. What's wrong in number 22? Which word is wrong? Um, the in the um, in the which word like, is wrong in number 22? Like doing different sports. Yes, different. different sports. But in the article, it says, like all their other friends. Okay, all of them enjoy the same sports and hobbies. So 22 is wrong. Okay, so you see, when you think a statement is wrong, you must find the wrong word or the wrong information. And you can find the correct information from the article. Okay, number 23, please. For the past few months, the boys have been most of their of their time the time outside mm -hmm. their time mm -hmm. outside right wrong doesn't say Mm -hmm. wrong. wrong. So which word or phrases are incorrect in number 23? But for the last few months, they, they have spent every weekend in Peter's room. Every weekend? Okay. Uh, you're right. And what else? Every weekend, you're right. Another one. Outside. Because they were, where were they? In Peter. Yes. So you see, when you think it's incorrect, you must find the correct one. So you will know it's really wrong. Okay. Number, oh. Our time is already up. Okay, so I will give the rest as your homework. I want you to analyze them carefully. Again, if you think it's wrong, find the correct answer. So you will be sure that the statement is wrong. Next, if the statement or you can't find the supporting details or maybe... It is not, it wasn't mentioned, even the related words. We can find re related words from the article. Most likely, it doesn't say. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So let's review what, what have we learned today. So we learned... About we practiced about doing notices 
finding related words to each other. Next is how to complete a conversation by looking at the context, sentence one and the reply. So you can find the missing link, the missing answer. You might see me looking down into below on my table because I'm, I also have a copy of the PowerPoint on my phone, you see? So I can see the answers and then uh -huh, I can easily find where we are. Okay, that's why I look down, I look up, I look down. <laughs> okay, so do you have any questions about the lesson, dear? No. No, I don't. How do you feel about the lesson today? Some part is easy, some part is difficult. Oh, some part were. Okay, because some is not just one. Okay, some were easy, some were hard. Okay. <laughs> and it's okay. We know that um, being hard or learning something hard means you're done with the easy. You're going to the hard part. It means you're smart enough to understand those hard ones, okay? So that means improvement. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, dear. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. I see you on Thursday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>